Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to find out how to get iMessage on PC. Now, this is not a fully fledged version of, you know, iMessage. It's just, you know, you just install a simple app um, and you're good to go. So first we're going to go to Microsoft.com. So you are on any old web browser. You can be on Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. You, you go to this website. Just search up for Dell Mobile Connect. We found Dell Mobile Connect. And now I did some, you know, changing in the settings. But like, if you don't see this get option, then in the click the three little meatballs or the the balls next to the get button, and then just the purchase the thing, just purchase the app. So then it'll, if you're not logged in, it'll ask you to log in. And then after you purchase the app, uh, you need to go to the Microsoft Store. Microsoft Store. So I'm in the Microsoft Store. And I'm going to go search for Dell Mobile Connect again. Or you can just go to your profile and then go to purchase and then install it from there. But uh, since um, my computer is a little bit different, I can just install it. So I go to Dell Mobile Connect. Or if you have a Dell computer, you can also just install it, you know, like this way as, as well. Dell Mobile Connect. So we have it here. Just want to click Get and click My Account. And I'm going to log in real quick. Um, okay, I'm signed in. and I own this app. So if after you purchase it, it's gonna say like you own the app and then I just click install right, right there and it's gonna start installing. I'm just gonna wait a few seconds here. And Dell Mobile Connect is installed, so we're just gonna launch it. Okay, so after we install Dell Mobile Connect, we're going to come to this screen right here. So you just want to click by using this app, I agree. Just click that and then click get started. And then you're going to choose if you have an Android phone or an iPhone. But of course, we're going to choose iPhone because it's iMessage. But this can also work if you want to send SMS messages from your Android as well. Click next. And then you're going to want to go onto your phone. And then you're going to want to install the Dell Mobile Connect app. So we're going to go onto the store here. And then we're going to search for Dell Mobile Connect. Okay, boom, I found it. So I'm going to install it. Double click. And it's going to show up on my screen here. There we go, Dell Mobile Connect. Powered by a screen boat. Let's get started here. We're going to click through all these screens. Allow access to all photos. Next. Okay. Close. Okay. So now we've installed the Dell Mobile Connect app, and then now we're looking on our. Uh, uh, computer screen here we have the code on our phone so we're just going to type in the code so the code for me is p s p c c e a and then we're just going to next and then it needs an active bluetooth connection so we're just going to click yes if it asks for this and then it's going to say, please wait. We are just going to calmly wait. And boom, there we go. On my iPhone, I have received a request to pair with my laptop. If you also receive the request, just click pair. And it's pairing with my iPhone. And then we just click next here. Please confirm the pin. Okay. Let's verify connection. Setting up the device down here. Okay, we're just going to wait a few minutes. Oh, and there we go. So, I've already approved of display notifications, but like if you haven't, just go and do that. I'm going to click next and please wait. 
It's accessing services. Allow access, if you want to allow access to contacts and messages, which we need to do, uh, you want, you're going to want to follow these instructions. So you're going to want to go into here. So I'm in my settings, go to Bluetooth, go to the computer, and like they said, show, you're going to click show notifications and make sure sync contacts is also on. So I clicked show, uh, so I clicked show notifications and sync, sync contacts is on. So I'm done that and we're going to go back to the app. So, and there we go. We can see um, my phone just says it's connected. It says your device is connected. You can take, make phone calls, receive text messages, access all your contacts, all from your PC computer. And we're just going to click finish. And boom, that's, that's pretty much it. So that, this is all of that. Those are all of my uh, phone notifications. So with this app, not only can you use it for like iMessage, but like you can access your, um, you can screen share your phone, like do the mirroring. You can access its files. You can do iMessages. You can make phone calls. You can receive all the notifications. And yeah, so there it is. My phone is connected. So yeah, not only can you do messages, but you can do a lot more. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get iMessages on Windows PC. Now, the other way, you can also install a Windows virtual machine. But like, if you want to go do it that way, I suggest you go research it. But I think this is the best way. Now, there are two caveats with this method. Number one is sending images um, on your PC to someone else through iMessage um, is not compatible. I don't think like you you can't send uh, text images to other people. You can just send the messages. And the other caveat is when you send messages in a group chat, they're not going to send in the group chat. They're going to send in a broadcast list to each an individual person who is in the group chat. So. Yeah, other than those two caveats, this is a great method to have iMessages on your PC and text someone, text someone back, like real quick if if you need, like when you need them or something like that. But yeah, that's that's the method. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video and this method worked for you, like this video, subscribe to the channel, do it anyways. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns this method is not working for you, or like it's saying your system isn't compatible, put it down in the comments section below. I'll make a fixed video and leave it to you, uh, send it to you in the comment section. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out for